Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video I'm going to do my 36-37 pregnancy update. So if you guys want to watch then stay tuned. Okay, so like I said I'm going to do my 36-37 week update and let me say that um, throughout my whole pregnancy I've had it really good except for the morning sickness in the beginning of my first trimester but um, second trimester went very well. As far as like now, um, I haven't had any weird side effects except for the fact that when I went to get my ultrasound for the 36 weeks, um, I'm currently 37 weeks and 3 days pregnant when I am filming this video. But when I did go in for my 36 uh, checkup in my ultrasound, um, the ultrasound specialist noticed that the fluid was a little low so then they put me on a monitor and they noticed that I was having contractions which I hadn't felt anything and um, it just surprised me because she also told me that my baby is weighing in at seven pounds which to me was a shock because when I went in for the last ultrasound prior to that one she told me my baby was four pounds and 12 ounces and now that I went back for 36 uh, checkup, she's telling me he's weighing in at seven pounds, which like literally uh, scared me because I'm like seven pounds to me, that's like big. And I still have a couple of weeks left to go. So that means the baby can still gain weight, which really terrifies me because I was hoping to have a smaller baby, not a baby that's like seven, eight, nine pounder, which freaks me out. But if he's that much, well, he's that much. There's not much I can do. But what concerned me was that um, I was having contractions and my fluid was kind of low. Like they measure the fluid um, in numbers. And she told me that when she was a little bit concerned, it was a seven. But then I spoke to my midwife and she said, you need to be concerned when it's a five or less. So they were just trying to keep an eye out on the fluid so it doesn't get any lower. Um, so I kept going back. I went back next week. The, the next week after that, she put me on a monitor. I was still having contractions, but uh, thank God my fluid went up higher. It went to a number nine which, okay, that made me feel a little better because they said that you can always um, make your fluid higher or it can come down lower if you're leaking. But luckily, I wasn't leaking anymore. It just kept going higher. And then I went back this Monday, which I was already 37 weeks, two days. Um, and she told me that the fluid was at 14. So that made me feel at ease, but they also, but they still hooked me up to a monitor where they were monitoring his um, heartbeat and my contractions, which I am still having contractions, but I don't feel them. Um, but they're not as high as where I need to be induced or something to be alarmed. She said it's normal for people to have um, contractions and not feel them. It's just the baby um, working or preparing for the big day. So. Yes, I felt very relieved when she told me I was at a 14 and she didn't need to see me that week but until the next week. So that made me feel at ease and I was like super happy when I got home because, you know, I was so concerned that the I may be leaking and not know and that the, you know, the fluid was low. And as you guys know, the fluid is their oxygen. And um, so, yeah, luckily um, it went up to a 14. Nothing to be concerned about. I just need to keep... Um, hydrated keep drinking stuff and you know hopefully it stays like that until my due date so as far as like changes that's the only thing that has changed in my 36 37 week update um, oh and another thing um, I'm like all of a sudden um, in my second trimester I was doing really good as far as like my weight I wasn't really gaining weight and they were surprised that I wasn't really gaining weight but now I feel like every time I go in, as you guys know, we have to get weight in and then take our pressure. But it's like all of a sudden I'm gaining weight, which is like not something that I want, especially now in my last days. Or I just don't want to be um, weighing in all the time and noticing that it's just getting higher and higher. But 
I'm trying not to consume so much um, food that is fatty or or greasy, which I don't, but just trying to watch what I eat because I don't want to be gaining weight every time I get weighed in, which is like does not make me feel good because um, I just don't want to be gaining a lot of weight, especially during these last weeks. Um, what else? I think that's it. I mean, I've been sleeping really good. Oh, just heartburn keeps coming and going off and on, which is like really bad sometimes because they told me I can take tongues, but I don't want to take anything. Um, yeah, that's about it. My, you know, gaining weight, um, still having heartburn sometimes, and my fluid was low. That Those are the only things that have changed in week, week 36 and 37. Um, what else? Nothing. Um, the baby's still very active and, you know, it's grow. he's growing a lot. And I'm just anxious. I just, just can't wait to have him in my arms and hopefully everything goes well. Um, what else? As far as, like, the baby, he's, like I said, he's, he's weighing in at 7 pounds. And, you know, he's perfect. He's healthy. And that's all that counts. And what else? That's it. I've been sleeping really good. Um, I already stopped working because she told me to just stop working. The um, My doctor told me to stop working because since they were concerned that my flu was low and that I was having contractions, she told me it was best if I just stopped working at 37 weeks, which is good because that was something that I had planned to stop working at 37 weeks. And now I am just home waiting and you know, nesting, getting things ready for him, and hopefully I can have his um, his nursery tour ready for you guys. There are a few little things that we need to get um, finished, but as far as that, I'm feeling really good. I do get a little bit of my swollen feet at night sometimes, and I, I think it's because I'm just consuming so much water during the day, and um, I think that's about it. But um, my midwife told me just take nice hot showers at night with Epsom salt and that's going to reduce the swelling. Um, it's not that bad. It's just a little uncomfortable sometimes. Um, I sleep really well. What else? Um, that's it. And no cravings, you guys. I'm nine months pregnant and I haven't had any weird crazy cravings. Like I've heard people eat like pickles and ice cream. I haven't had any weird rare cravings. It's just the only thing I crave is a Coca-Cola and that's about it and sushi. But nothing crazy, you know. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my 36-37 week pregnancy update and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.